well alright hey everybody welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be taking care of a major problem that I have in my Minecraft world uh, I guess it's not really my Minecraft world it's also Wyatt's and Collins if they ever come and join again but uh as you can see I mean I deleted my game to hopefully fix this issue and it lost like majority of the map but uh Right here I was making this iron farm, right? And the iron farm is awful. Like, not the the way that I built it is awful, but the actual design by Tango Tech is very, very good. I think it's Tango Tech. I'm pretty sure it's Tango Tech. But yeah, this is in the spawn chunks, right? And uh, yeah, I just can't get it to work. I died by a golem because I'm not the smartest and try and kill absolutely everything I see. But uh... Yeah, let me turn this down and build in like three on top of each other. I'll show you like what I've done. So yeah, let's uh, let's go to that. So we are here at the iron farm, right? As you can see, it uh, does produce iron golems, obviously. But uh, the main problem that I have is I don't have the resources to put this like thing into its best, like, like the best it can be, right? And so I need to put like carpet here and put like a half slab into the villagers. And honestly, I don't really care to do that. So I think I'm gonna tear this whole thing down and just build a different, completely different iron farm that I see many YouTubers use. I can't name one in specific, but like most people use this as their own like micro iron farm. And that is what I'm going to be using. It's basically it's like there's villagers in four corners and there's two spawning platforms for the iron golems and they just like drop down into a killing chamber. That's kind of spooky. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing.
I can successfully say that after an hour of hour and a half or longer, I don't know, it, was, it felt like a while, but uh, I finally have a working iron farm uh, using wooden hoppers. <laughs> I got some iron. Obviously, it's not the greatest farm in the world because it's not that big. And I still have to clear out like that area and the garden and the rest of that. I don't think that's an increased spawn rates, but it should definitely look cleaner. I don't know, that's all I got. But yeah, um, uh, we might go up to this like floating island thing and see if we get any goods from that. But yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna go back to the base, find something else to do, because this is not very long. It's been like, <laughs> maybe five minutes. But yeah, let's uh, let's go do that. All right, so we're back and we have uh, finished this uh, beautiful, beautiful iron farm. Um, I thought that some iron golems would spawn while I was destroying it and uh, none did. <laughs> So yeah, we had the same amount that we started with. I don't know if that's a, a good thing or why. <laughs> this actually sounds terrible. <laughs> Maybe this iron farm was not worth it. But, I mean... Obviously it worked at one point. So I guess let's go back to the base. Actually, we want to go explore that thing. We can go... Alright, we were under it, sadly. All right, and it was not worth it at all. That is the pressure. These things are a hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? <gasps> no! No! <gasps> Wait, I'm fine. <gasps> so we're here at the iron farm, right? And uh, this bad boy's been running for probably about say five days and uh yeah it's produced some iron obviously it's not that great so what i'm gonna be doing is uh i'm gonna stack another one of these bad boys way up top it has to be a minimum of 70 blocks away so we're gonna go way up in the sky and build a, a replica of this one all i'm saying is making that iron farm took took so 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 very long and it is extremely annoying, and I have yet to see an iron golem far from it. But somehow, <laughs> okay, we gotta, we gotta weasel our way. You think we can? No, we can't. Let's just eat. All right, we're gonna slowly make our way down. This is always so scary. Yeah, because earlier in the episode, I literally made myself fall all the way down. Um. So yeah, I think we have some god villagers, or they just have a feather falling on their feet, because somehow, because I built that iron farm wrong like three times, they managed to fall out, right, and they managed to survive. They fell from all the way up top, all the way down. You want to explain to me how the heck they're alive? You know how far that fall is? Alright, let's uh, yeet in here. Ow, 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 ow. Alright. Yay! Oh, you're so lucky. Oh, you're dead. Alright, you weren't that lucky. Neither were you. <laughs> uh, alright, well. That uh, solves that issue. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't know, I, don't, I feel like making two iron farms in one video is kind of boring but i think that's where i'm going to end it for today so yes thank you guys for watching uh i'll be back later this week or sometime next week with a brand new video oh look at that dude the shovel looks dope oh tell me that doesn't look dope can i oh look at that that's so cool okay so if i go to that then to the shovel oh my god Okay, well, uh, alright, well, thank you for watching, and, uh, hopefully you enjoyed, if you didn't, uh, let me know in the comments, and if you did, also let me know in the comments, or like the video, alright, uh, I'll see you in the next video, adios.